All right, what's up, guys? It's Heat again. Uh, another video on a build that I have uh, made, a cast on crit build. This was for the Nemesis League, and uh, I don't like this build as much as I did my crit trap, fire trap, crit, fire trap build, whatever. Um, I don't think it's as good, and uh, I sort of have some issues with it, which I'll, I'll go over, but uh, I got to level 86. I think a lot of that, maybe I was carried, maybe not, I don't know, uh, but let's uh, let's check out this build. So what this build is, is a cast on crit with barrage. You don't level barrage, you leave it at level 1. It fires really fast um, because I use a quill rain, so the thing about it is you fire as fast as you can with a quill rain, um, and then you try to crit as much as possible. So the attack speed is 0.37. If you add something like faster attacks, it goes to 0.28, which is crazy. Uh, 0.28 attacks in a second. Uh, I curse with crit weakness because you need to curse with this build. Like, you absolutely need to. Um, and then I linked EK because EK scales well off the gem itself. Uh, so I wanted to use gems that you don't need to scale much from the passive tree that they just do good damage on their own. So I went with EK. Uh, now the problem with this is um, I couldn't figure out. So you can either do, you can focus on one or you can do multiple uh, uh, attacks in there. So I put, I also put Storm Call um, because there's a chance to shock. Uh, I mean, it has a crit, tr crit, crit strike chance, right, if you get quality, which is pretty high. It's at 68% right now. Um, so that means that you will shock them, maybe trip shock them, because every time you crit, you it will shock. And so then your EK will also do more damage. Um, so that's why I wanted to use Storm Call, but I also had Firestorm in here, and Firestorm, I don't know, it just doesn't do enough damage. I also tried, I've also switched out Storm Call with Power Charge on crit, so I don't have to cycle attacks to gain power charges. Uh, and I constantly like switch between that and Storm Call and other spells just to test it out. Uh, because I, di I didn't really like the way this build was going. Um, now if I had a 6 link, uh, I would definitely use Storm Call and then Power Charge on crit would be uh, my 6 link. And for in terms of flow purposes, like clear speed and ease of use, I would probably switch out Storm Call with Power Charge on crit. So let's take a look. So Power Charge on crit is, um, I mean my links for Barrage are Barrage. Life Leech, uh, because you need uh, Life Leech on this build, I think. Uh, cast on Crit, Critical Strike, a max quality. It increases your chance to, I think, uh, Crit Strike? Yeah, 20%, there you go. So per one quality, you get 1% Crit Strike chance. I have Storm Call, and I have EK. So that is my link. The other links, uh, the the auras that I'm running are Grace and Clarity. Uh, Clarity helps my, with my regen because you attack so fast. One advantage of using Barrage is you only need a level one, and the mana cost is really small. So any mana cost multiplier won't really add that much. And right now, uh, I'm only it's only costing me 14 mana per attack. Uh, so that's a huge thing about this build. And I can tap a lot, as you can see my mana is going down. It's going, I haven't run out of mana yet. My there, mana is there. That See, I ran out of mana right there. So, um, that's why I run Clarity. And I don't, I don't level it. I leveled it to level 10 and then I stopped. Because it does take more. I have thought about running it off Blood Magic so I can continuously... Um, so I can continuously level it, but Blood Magic, the multiplier on Blood Magic is huge. Mana reserve right now is 240. You increase that, uh, it'll probably be around 400 or whatever, something like that, of your life to be reserved from your life. I don't know if that's worth it, so I didn't actually switch. I use uh, 
diamond rings because of the crit strike chance. If we take a look right now uh, for my main attack barrage, crit chance is 39.3, which isn't that much. Uh, I would like to have it higher. Maybe we'll, this is why this build isn't that good. Um, and I also run two diamond flasks to increase my chance to crit. When I run these, it does really good damage, but when I don't, um, the damage is like is, is, is decent. And I roll charge recovery because you only have one use on diamond flasks, so charge recovery would probably be your best bet on uh, this, this flask. If we take a look at the tree, um, basically what I did is I focused on crit strike. I picked up crit strike here. I did have these crit strike ones, but uh, I specced out of these because I don't know why, I don't remember. But I wanted more crit strike stuff up here. I'm pretty sure that's why I spec'd out of them. But I, I am using iron reflexes. I did go up into ballistic mastery because um, EK, uh, the spell EK, uh, scales off projectile damage. So uh, I started going into these projectile nodes. Uh, it's life base. You have crit chance here, 50% crit chance with bows. I picked up. The reason I picked up Aspect of the Eagle and Weathered Hunter is because my accuracy was fairly low. It was in the low 80s. Right now it's uh, kind of high. I think it's in almost 90. Yeah, 89%. Um, and I also have these gloves. These gloves? Yes, that have very high accuracy rating that helped with that. So the higher accuracy rating, the better it is for your crit strike chance. It's not factored into your uh, DPS on the tooltip, but I think that it, it would increase your DPS um, significantly the more accurate you are. I think there's a formula on uh, the, POE, the POE wiki about this, and there's some discussions about it, and the overall consensus is that accuracy would uh, increase your DPS and your crit strike chance. And if you think logically about it, it should. Uh, and then I just picked up conditioning, more crit strike chance stuff here. Um, Bloodthirst is an awesome crit strike chance passive. This is health. Uh, I don't really need this elemental resistance. I'm going to spec out of this. I just needed it at the time to max out my resistances, but I don't need it right now. And I picked up all these crit strike chance nodes. I do have. Uh, five power charges and when all five are up I think I actually don't remember what my crit, tri uh, crit strike chance goes up to maybe 47% something like that uh, but I will put this the build uh, this skill tree in the description uh, but let's take this for oh look at that that's kind of cool they're all like floating there Let's take this uh, for a ride right now. So, the crappy part about this is I don't have power charge on crit link to uh, my skill, so I have to get it separately. So I have it now, and this is where we can go. So in terms of flow, I would want it on my main skill. Slow me down. Let's try to get some big packs here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I mean, I don't know, like, uh, it seems like it does a lot of damage, but this is docks. Map-wise, I don't think it does as much. But, yeah, that's the build. Maybe, uh, let me take it into a map, see how it does. I'll just roll a random map here. Uh, maps. Let's do promenade. Promenade catacombs. Let's do a random catacombs. Burning ground. Immune to curses. I don't want them to be immune to curses. Increase life. Feeble. Shock. I don't like many totems. Two unique bosses. Sure. Let's do two unique char bosses. Let's just drop this stuff off. So let's check out the damage. I always do, uh, I've always played this character in parties. This build isn't really that expensive. The only the most expensive thing, thing is a five link quill rain, which cost me two exalt. So it's not that bad. I don't personally like it. It's like slow. It doesn't really seem like it does that much damage. And the cru the the thing about it is like half to crit. experiment with this build, but I don't think it's very high level. I don't know if I'd be able to do some of the bosses. And the main problem I feel that with this build is I don't have enough crit chance, and also the way it casts on crit works is like you actually you're, if you crit, you're not guaranteed to actually cast the spell. 
you only have, as the spell says right there, you only have an 82% chance to cast on crit. So you can crit, I don't know, three times, two times, and not have it go off. So that's why um, I think I'm one of the issues I don't like this build is because of that. But uh, this is kind of what a cast on crit build looks like. Uh, I probably didn't optimize it well, uh, but it's another perspective. Maybe it gets you to think about some builds. Uh, maybe it will get you to create a better cast on crit build than I did. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. As usual, I will post up the, uh, the passive skill tree in the description. Uh, Alright, see you guys later.